you guys, my Thieves Foaming Hand Soap has run out and it'll be a little while before I can replace it. But in the meantime, what am I going to do without my germ fighting Thieves Foaming Hand Soap? It's our family's favorite. Well, I could scream, cry, and sit on the floor and have a fit, but I'm not going to do that because making it myself is super easy. And I'm going to show you just how you can take your bottle and fill it with your very own Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. So to do this, we're going to start with our Castile Soap and uh, this is a common ingredient in a lot of my home DIYs, my natural DIYs, and I highly recommend, if you've not already gotten it, to bite the bullet and go ahead and buy a bottle of Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. You can get this right from Amazon. So we're gonna go and we're gonna add three tablespoons of this right down into our hand soap container that is empty. I blame the children. Okay, so I've added my three tablespoons of that. The next thing that I'm gonna add is my glycerin. This is a, vet, a liquid vegetable glycerin. Again, thank you, thank you Amazon for having just about everything. Um, this is a vegetable glycerin, and so this adds a little body, a moisturizer to our soap. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of this down into the container. And the next thing, it wouldn't be thieves hand soap without the thieves. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put 20 drops of my thieves essential oils down into the container. After you get the 20 drops down into your container, the last thing you're gonna do is come and fill the rest of the container all the way full with water and secure your cap. And that's it. I now have foaming hand soap anytime I want it with awesome fighting power, cleaning power. We love that. That's it, super easy. And now I have foaming hand soap that smells just like thieves and Super easy, you gotta try it.